Good evening. I'm Patrick, representing the Faculty of Education and Health Sciences and Department of Physical Education and Sports Science. Tonight, I will be discussing with you the landscape where there's thousands of resources for a few dozen players, yet thousands of players have no resources. So who would have thought a country with only 5 million people defeating countries with populations of 60 and 70 million? Any guess what I'm talking about? Ireland, your Six Nations champions and number one rugby team in the world. The hard work put in during a rugby match is undeniable. The willingness of players to lay their bodies on the line for their team, for their country, that's a sense of pride we spectators love to feel. But win or lose, the result is a product of much more than those 80 minutes alone. Specialists work around the clock to prepare players for the brutal demands of the game. These physiotherapists and strength and conditioning coaches use a wide array of resources to help players perform their best while reducing their risk of injury. But what about the rest of us? What do we have access to? What about the moms and dads who want to continue to play the sport they love, hold down a full-time job, and still be able to keep up with the little ones at home? The number of us participating in community sport is far greater than those at the professional level. Yet with a complete imbalance of resources, these injuries are impacting our daily lives. Nowadays, I wear a researcher's coat, but for the last 10 years, I've worn my coaching hat, so I'm determined to do something about this. Community rugby here in Ireland has reported higher overall injury rates compared to similar cohorts internationally, but I needed to know what types of injuries were occurring, so I went out and monitored injuries in 25 clubs across the country and discovered what parts of the body were most susceptible to injury. So there was clearly room for improvement, but what resources were available in the community? Well, after interviewing players and coaches at this level, I had the key insights necessary to design not only a feasible intervention, but one they'd actually want to use. It was time to put my practical skills to the test. I designed a program to be completed in less than 15 minutes, does not use equipment, and does not require expert, often expensive, consultation of physios. In an eight-month nationwide control trial, I implemented this program in 21 men's and women's clubs across the country, and we found incredible results. The clubs that use this program compared to those that didn't found 30, saw 32% less severe injuries, 42% less non-contact injuries, those all too common knee ligament and shoulder sprains, 60% less, and 77% fewer hamstring strains. Now the most important finding was that the clubs found the program enjoyable and easy to implement, with compliance playing a huge role in these positive clinical outcomes. So whether you play rugby, your kids play soccer, or you coach a GAA team, I encourage you to engage with Engage. Thank you for listening.